Today we have Megan Shank of Three Lagoons Realty with us here today on let's on this podcast. And Megan, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate our relationship, our friendship, partnership. We have a really cool story. I would I was thinking uh, if you could just tell me a little bit about kind of how we met. Do you remember? I do. How could I forget? <laughs> um, so I was on the hunt for a videographer and not just one to shoot one video. I wanted someone I could partner with long term who kind of saw my vision and, and we could work well and make beautiful videos together. Nice. Um, so I had looked everywhere from LA to basically Chula Vista and everywhere in between looking for that videographer. And funny enough, you came from a recommendation from someone nice. and, um, people recommend me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, Very cool. it was awesome. And so then we met for coffee yes. and then I realized that you live like, a few blocks down from me, coincidentally. Yes. Yes. And um, yeah, it was like perfect, checked every box I was looking for and then more. Nice. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, I remember we met at Starbucks and uh, we just talked and talked and put together a game plan and it was just like, we clicked really well right away. Yeah, did a Starbucks right. selfie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instagrammed uh -huh. it right away. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get, so I researched you a little bit obviously before we had our first meeting and um, Three Lagoons Realty, mm -hmm. right? I think you told me about this before. So refresh my memory, why, why Three Lagoons? Yeah, so basically we, we enjoy the outdoors just on a personal level. So we're, we're either, you know, hiking at the beach, just doing something of, uh, I mean, it's beautiful here. Right, so you I wanted, guys as in you, your husband and Me and, and my husband, yeah, it. not anything to, and so what I wanted, I wanted something, first of all, hyper local to the community. Sure. Um, you know, we live in Carlsbad, we work in Carlsbad, and I wanted something to support that local North County um, vibe. And then also we enjoy the outdoors. So my husband, actually, I got to give him credit. He came up with, well, why not Three Lagoons Realty for the Three Lagoons um, nice. in Carlsbad, you know, Bad Aquitos, Buena Vista, and Agua Hedionda. Nice. So from that, Three Lagoons Realty was born. Yes. I yeah. remember... I researched you and I found your picture of you in front of the lagoon, right? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Photograph to my husband. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have supportive spouses. Yes. Very. Right? Uh -huh. I know you guys have two kids. Yep. Two boys. Yep. How old are they now? So Reed just turned six last week and Wesley's three and a half. Wow. Yeah. They're yeah. awesome. And they're obviously local Carlsbad boys. Yep. In the, in the Carlsbad schools and the sports nice. and... And your husband? And Drew is my husband, nice. so he's wonderful. We have a unique relationship in the sense that we've actually, our team has worked with your husband as well. Yep. He's not even in real estate. No. But after he saw the videos we did for you, he recommended our services to his company and... Perfect. You know, yeah, so he, he was thoroughly impressed. I mean, it, like I said, you've, you guys have exceeded every expectation we could have hoped for. So he's watched my videos that we've done. Obviously, I show him everything and excited. Sure, and, sure. and so then he reached out to the owner of his company, nice. who because video is so important. It's not just a real estate specific showing sure. homes. It's tell, about telling a story. Who are the people behind the product or, or the service? And right. it's a real, everything is relationship driven. For sure. So same thing, their owner saw the vision, knows how important it is to tell a story, put mm. names and faces that we're all humans and we're all relationship driven. Yeah. So yeah, it was a great, it was a great three day weekend of filming. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Humanizing the people behind the brand or the brand itself is like super important. And you know, Josh is here today and he would probably say the same thing for sure is like that company was filled with so many cool people. Yeah. Um, to this day, I mean, it's like one of our special three days of just filming <laughs> nonstop. Uh, it was it was awesome. So thank you for making that connection. It was yeah. really cool. But I just I brought it up because I think it's unique that we don't always get to work with the spouses of our clients as well. Yeah. And especially when it's entirely different industry. You know, industry. Yeah. So that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Megan, tell me a little bit about your journey in mm -hmm. real estate. How did you start? So I was uh, 23 years old and I was working for an insurance company and that was not my ultimate lifelong yeah. passion or goal. Um, 
so a friend of mine encouraged me to, she was, I think you'll be perfect in this. You should get your real mm-hmm. estate license. She had worked in new home sales. And um, just with her encouragement, I'm like, okay, this sound, does sound some, like something, you know, I could really do and succeed and enjoy. So I got my license, um, got hired at, at a builder in San Diego and worked that. I called on different real estate brokerages and had them bring their clients to our different communities. Mm-hmm. So I got to see kind of how offices were ran from small, you know, independents to large 500, in, you know, agent offices. Okay. And um, over time, I thought that's something I want to do is open up my own brokerage. So in 2012, I got my broker's license, nice. opened up shop 2013 and we've been running ever since that's awesome yeah so i I know that when we show other potential clients part of our portfolio Mm -hmm. something that your stuff always comes up in is like when a when an agent is very integrated into their community right so you're you're very heavy carlsbad yeah in fact i think you have like some hashtags that you're constantly doing right about carlsbad (laughs) um so tell me tell me like how, why that strategy, and obviously it's working for you because, I mean, we just had a conversation off camera about your success and we'll get to it later, but why kind of the hyper-target uh, approach for you? Well, to me, just on a personal level, level, this is our community. We we live here, I wanna invest here. Uh, you know, we're, we get volunteer, we're a part of organizations like this, this is our community. I'm proud of it. I love it. I feel it's so important to get involved and we have one life on this planet. So make the most of it. And, you know, it's been so good to me. The least I can do is give back, get involved. And, um, and I enjoy it. I love it. We love it here. So, um, you know, I know it's hyper local. We also do go outside of of just Carlsbad, but, um, but my focus is, you know, my kids are in school here. We're in after, we're in sports. We're in after school programs. We're, you know, at the camps. We're volunteering in organizations. We're hiking the trails. Right. This is where we live, breathe, work. I believe in it. So sure. it's a no brainer to me. Um, and I love the people. Like, right. It's a great group of people here. Yeah, I mean, you're sold. On yeah, the I'm community, sold. If I didn't. <laughs> right? Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't be here. And now you're, you're basically sharing that yeah. with other potential people who are coming into Carlsbad. And the great thing is like, yeah, you're not just, you know, uh, pigeonholing yourself or whatever to yeah. to just Carlsbad, but yeah. like, it's great because this is your core and then you're just building out from there. So I know you do stuff all over Southern yeah. California, but um, you know, it just, I, I, I wanted to know the story behind it. And obviously I know, but yeah. it's just like for our listeners, like if you do take that hyper local approach, that's what you did initially, and now you've grown from that. So it's not like um, it's it's a it's a it's a successful approach. Yeah. And I think one that needs to be shared with more. Well, it's it's easy because I believe in it so much, and I, and I speak firsthand to it. So it's like I right. can tell. I mean, I my favorite kind of group is the relocation that have no idea, you know, that maybe they've seen a few pictures online and I, I get so excited. I can plug them into a hairdresser. I've got recommendations on restaurants that we go to, right. um, you know, like I said, the summer camps, like this is a, amazing. And I speak from the heart and experience mm-hmm. because we live it firsthand every day. So it excites me because it's yeah. part of our life. So. Well, and I know that when we filmed your about you video, your agent story video, that one of your clients was in the video, which was yeah. cool, and that she was totally out of town. Yeah. And she found you through your hashtag, right? Yeah, it was so the craziest. Tell, me, tell us about that. Craziest and most awesome story. Um, so on Twitter, I you know I did the hashtags Carlsbad Realtor, Carlsbad Real Estate, um, mm-hmm. you know Carlsbad Real Estate Agent, and um, so she had been she found me through a hashtag through hashtags of Carlsbad Carlsbad Real Estate, and followed me and must have thought, okay, this is someone I. I like from what I've seen. Sure. And so she reached out to me through email and said, we're gonna be in Carlsbad, let's meet at this hotel. I met her and her whole family. Um, you know, we were looking at schools there, you know, in the UK, the schools are much smaller. Mm. So um, I had called every school, getting classroom sizes and uh, yeah, met with them in person. It was awesome. Found mm. them a ho- found them a rental then sold them a house. She's referred me business since then, wow. and we've become great friends. Like they've nice. come to my kids' birthday parties, we have them over for dinner, yeah. so. Great people, I remember them. I think their kids were there in the Yeah, in the video, video well, too. Mm-hmm. Right? Super cool family. Yeah, so I got a friend out of it, most importantly friend, yes. client, Yes. all from a hashtag. Yeah, <laughs> That's which is cool. awesome. Hey, that, 
that yeah. goes, you know, that's that says a lot. I yeah. Think. Megan, let's talk about your success. Okay. All right. So we don't have to talk about numbers specifically, but um, you know, you started in 2012. Actually, really launched your business in 2013. It's been an exciting journey. Yeah. One that I've gotten to be a part of a little bit, so it's exciting to, to watch you grow. Um, talk about your, you know, where you currently are, your team, kind of your, um, what are you focusing on in terms of uh, inventory potentially, or buyers, sellers, both. Yeah. So start out just little old me, and uh, so <laughs> that was wild. I started out literally coding for my website. If anyone would have ever thought I'd be coding wow. like the biggest, that's hilarious. Um, no. <laughs> um, so I was the, the marketing director, the social media manager, the finance, you know, everything, everything. as a small business owner. Entrepreneur. Yeah. And um, so, but then we grew and we just, you know, needed a little bit more help, had some interest. And uh, so a past client of mine actually, you know, same thing. I become friends with a lot of the people I get to work with because a lot of them are awesome and yeah. it's great. Yeah. So, uh, a Birds gentleman, of a feather. yeah, Talk exactly. Together, right? <laughs> so, um, he added his license on, so he's an agent, um, mainly in the Oceanside area. And then we have another lady in San Marcos nice. and we're actually in the process right now of adding another gentleman on. Nice. So yeah, we're That's growing. Exciting. I have my transaction coordinator. And it's funny, like, not just so much of just my team, but I, I look at you guys as part mm. of my team. So, you know, my transaction coordinator, videographer, photographer. So there's a whole realm where everybody specializes specializes in their, uh, their niche. And sure. it's been great. So yeah. I think it's part of why you're successful, right? You have like really key people and you, you work together for a common goal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you're passionate. I love that. You're super energetic woman that loves to accomplish a lot, take on a lot. You have a family, business. What, what, what's your passion? What's the passion behind, you know, your, your real estate uh, business? So it's, you know, it's a lot of work, but it's for the most part, it's fun work. There's also stressful work, of course, that's with any job, but I get to make a direct impact in someone's life. I mean, and it's a huge, it's a huge transition. It's a mm -hmm. stressful, um, life changing transition. And I get to be a part of that. So, um, I just sold a house. He had relocated out of state. His family was behind until the house sold. They didn't spend Christmas together, New mm. Year's, um, you know, holidays. They did FaceTime to eat dinner together wow. just so they could eat dinner. And then that that's responsible, you know, I'm responsible to make that happen, to get that family reunited. That's sure. a huge, you know, re, you know, responsibility, re responsibility yeah. but yeah, reward. So right. we got a full price offer on their house. I told him he started crying. I like that's amazing. Like sure. when what job can you have sure. to where you're impacting people's lives so much? Right. So all that hard work, all that, you know, stress and time, it's worth it by that mm. emotion right there. So I got to see the family reunited. They moved, they're happy in their new house. Like that's an amazing opportunity. For sure. And it's so rewarding. So. It's a it's a very intimate process, right? Because you get to know the people, potentially like in your case, it's you, you're responsible for creating, bringing back that family together oftentimes, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's not just selling a house. I mean, there's just so much more involved and to be a part of that and have, you know, it's amazing. What's like one thing you think you, you deal with on a regular basis that people don't necessarily know as a realtor that you have to deal with? Uh, there's a few things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the first is, is persistence. Mm. Well, there, yeah, there's a few things, but persistence, like you can't give up. You need to just keep at it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always work out that way. You might, you know, a client might change their mind and take their house off the market and you mm -hmm. can get discouraged and like, there's no woe is me. You just have to deal with it and keep going to the, you know, keep hustling, keep sure. working hard. Yeah. And then, um, that's one persistence. You can't, it's not like, not for the faint of hearts. Is that the sure. right saying? Yeah, yeah, I get like, what you're gotta saying. You've got to have thick skin. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know, it happens and sure. move on. Stuff happens. Yeah, stuff yeah. happens. And so, <laughs> Not only in just your industry as a whole, I mean, life, right? You can yeah. take that and, and expand that into life. Like, you got to be persistent because, like, stuff happens, right? And yeah. it's great for, for your kids. You're creating uh, a mindset for your family. Like, hey, you got to be, per be persistent, right? Yeah, absolutely. What, what do you... What do you attribute your success to, you think? Uh, obviously, your mindset, you're, you're persistent. You've, we just talked about that. But anything else that you would say, this is definitely um, you know, uh, what I attribute part of my success to? 
I'd say hustle. Like you've mm. got to figure it out and you've got to put it in the work. This is not like a, you know, go get lunch with the girls and not work. Like you sure. have to work. You have to work weekends. You have to make sacrifices. Um, you know, calls come in at 10 o'clock at night. You need mm. to answer them. And um, I that, think that's why you text me back. All the time. You're like, you're one person for sure that always texts me back. I love it. Yeah, because like if you don't, there's, you know, it's a lost opportunity. And sure. and is that worth that phone, you know, not mm, responding? Sure. Um, so I think that success is just hustle. Like you're a business owner. Like if you don't produce, you don't bring an income for your mm-hmm. family. So yeah. I, I have a certain level and, and certain ideas that I want for my family and, mm-hmm. and what we want to achieve. And so I just... I can just imagine right now your whole your home right now full like because you both are in sales, mm-hmm. so you but you both are just hustling. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> your boys are just watching you, learning how you guys are doing. You know, successful things. Yeah, I hope so. I hope that they realize like you create your own destiny. I'm a firm believer. Like you got to get the right mindset. You create. You, you've got one opportunity. You know, you've got one life. Make the best of it. Make your biggest impact in the world and work your butt off to make that happen. So I hope my kids see that and I hope we can grain that into them so it's important to me <laughs> oh yeah no for sure um you're you're giving a lot of advice which is perfect because because mm-hmm. my next question would be you know what's what's something you would tell a potentially a new realtor like hey if you're gonna go into this industry here are some things that you need to you know be aware of or be be prepared yeah I'd say it's not million dollar listing. I mean, they've glammed up for TV and it's, <laughs> we're not in Manhattan drinking cocktails by any means. Like the first year, for, you know, until you, like any business, so you're a small business owner. So for the first sure. year, you are, you know, dedicated a hundred, I mean, you're always dedicated, but I mean, you're hustling, hustling mm-hmm. nonstop. You're right. trying to get every lead, you know, help as many people, talk to as many people, sure. um, get your brand, get your, get no, you know, well known. And so, Persistence. I mean, and you've got it. It's not a quick dollar. Like mm. it's t- over time. Mm-hmm. So some people see success and they're like, "Oh, they're making, they're killing it." No, it's because you worked for five years or three years or however long, sure. busting your butt to get to that point. Put the time in. So that's there's. It's not glamorous mm-hmm. all the time. <laughs> there's sure. a lot of hard work involved. And oh yeah, and different aspects of your business, right? So there's hard work in video. There's hard work, you know, in your mark other marketing, right, and administration stuff and your team stuff, right? Because you obviously have to work with your team on a regular basis and they might have questions for you and you're you're also coaching them. So there's a lot, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, and then yeah. not to mention the clients, you know, you're dealing of course. with... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't yeah. even mention their clients. <laughs> and getting yeah. the offers accepted and yeah. negotiating and, and telling people they didn't get the house or, mm-hmm. or you know, mm-hmm. it's not always good news. I mean, you want it obviously to be, but um, there's just a lot involved right. and it's hustle, right. positive attitude, right. and keep, like, keep moving forward right so we talked we talked about like obviously we're a video company right so we want to talk a little bit about video and how you're using it um what what are some ways that you're using video right now so yes so when we got together first originally we did we had a plan and i wanted it to be a long-term plan so so we filled in our agent bio there's community videos then there's still more communities i want to um, right. it, it add to my portfolio. Sure. Um, and then we've done educational videos. So what I do, listing videos, um, I try to do it all because I want to be well known mm-hmm. in a diverse, not just listing videos. Like I, there's more to that. Sure. There's more For to, sure. uh, there's more to real estate than a, just the home itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a whole community. It's the whole, you know, what's the process of buying a home. Right. So, so yeah, because we did educational videos with yeah. you as well. We did like what, 15 videos or something like that? Yeah. And there's still more that I want to add and do. Mm-hmm. Um, so how I'm using it, I have it on my YouTube. I've got it on all my social media channels. We have it linked directly to my website. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a video reel. I've got video you know, links. And nice. if you want to look up educational videos, community videos, things like that. Um, I also, in the future, I want to partner with small businesses mm-hmm. and highlight nice. some of these cool um, businesses that are also out in the world. And, right. And kind of highlight what That's they have to idea. offer. That's a great idea. What's your What's your experience been like with video? I mean, obviously, here's a perfect opportunity where you can say nice things about us. Sure, thank you. But like, really, like on your own, you know, maybe you're doing some stuff on your own, like you know, maybe using your phone or uh, some sort of email campaign. Like, can you talk a little bit about that yeah. after you first give us like a really good, 
review. Yeah, well, let me give you a good review <laughs> because kidding, you yeah. guys helped me solely get a two million dollar listing. Um, so my age, so someone, my contractor had recommended me to someone. They were interviewing three agents. Nice. He had watched my video, my bio, and and then so we had a phone conversation, and he said, "I learned on your video, you studied in Australia. Well, I went on my honeymoon in Australia." You have two boys. I have two boys. Nice. You know, you you went to San Diego State. My son's at San Diego State. These are things that we'd have never come up if I would have met him without him sure. seeing this video. So he interviewed me kind of on the phone. We had a conversation. I said, well, let's meet in person. He said, no, no, no. I have everything I need right now. Sure. He interviewed the other two agents in person, never met me, and he hired me for the job. Wow. Like the video sold him. And I would even if we, if we never had that video and he just interviewed me face to face, he would never know that I studied in Australia. He would never sure. know potentially that I had two boys, that I went to San Diego State. These are things that the video conveyed that I sure. didn't even have to do. Mm -hmm. It spoke for itself and mm -hmm. got me the listing. That's awesome. So I'm forever grateful for you on many Thank aspects, you. but that's you. one key one I'd like to point out. And that is what we love to do, like humanizing you to the point where you have shown somebody the things that they can relate to and with, right? So that you went to San Diego State, his son's going to San Diego State. Like, even though that might not make you a better realtor than somebody else, it still humanizes you and allows that person to connect with you mm -hmm. in a way where they might not otherwise be able to, yeah. right? And, and that's the beauty of it, because when we see you, we get to meet you, we know that. Mm -hmm. And then now it's our job to be like, okay, how can we communicate what we know about Megan to the world? Yeah. And like, you know, like it's exciting when it's people, you, you know, like you who we'd like to work with and we're just like, hey, let's share it. It's easy to share. Um, but it's cool because I remember filming you, you and your whole family at the lagoon and, you know, making sure we had all those little pieces that you wanted in the video. So that was really cool. Um, one, of, one of our favorites for sure. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> um, now, do you, when it, when it comes to video, there's a lot of the highs, highs, right? You get to see it and you're excited, you share. Any lows? Is there anything, anything like pain-wise that you're dealing with video right now? So if people are watching or listening, it's like, hey, I have that too. And then it allows us to kind of understand more of our, our clients better and just maybe we can come up with solutions together. Yeah, I mean, uh, from a video, you always see yourself and you pick yourself apart, of course. Like, yeah. And it's always nerve-wracking sending it out you know, to my database and everybody I know. Like You're putting yourself out there. It's just you're vulnerable. So sure. that's the, the biggest risk. Well, I'd rather be vulnerable and, and get a sale or help fulfill my clients' goals than anything else. So you guys are doing awesome. You've made cool. me look great. Like, uh, I mean, the, the professional <laughs> aspect and the shots, it's something I could never, ever cool. do myself or even understand So or editing. Yeah. So. <laughs> Is there any, any way you would want to use video that maybe you're not using um, or maybe nobody's using, but maybe just something that you're like, hey, this would be cool in real estate if we were able to do you know, X, Y, and Z or whatever? Yeah, well, I do. I, I mean, I've been saying this for a while. I need to execute on it, but I, I really want to interview small businesses mm, or not even it. small businesses, but just you know, different things that I enjoy and love sure. in the community and highlight, you know, we do the community videos, which are great, but it's a, a recap of everything. I'd sure. like a little bit more intimate, like who is the owner behind this? Who, why is this, you know, the better, the best ice cream shop in town right. or whatever. Right. So I'd like to, and then I also think it's good. It's important to, again, I'm big on community. So it's important to me to connect with other community members. You know, we're all in this together. I'd love mm. to highlight your business you know that's cool yeah, yeah. i mean because so, you're adding value to the business owner yeah. or that community member so let's say i don't know it didn't even it can be even like a religious organization or it can be a non-profit or or a business or even a resident like hey this person is amazing you know this person does all these things for the community but nobody yeah you know knows or shares shares enough of this how can we highlight this person so that's cool. Yeah, and it's it's good for the the end user to like, hey, I learned about a new nonprofit that I might be right. interested in. I learned a, right. about a new, you know, shop coming into town. That so yeah, it's so cool because it's like you're you're in anything when you're doing using video. It's like, and this is why I love it. It's like let's say I I enjoy speaking with you. I really like you as a person. It's almost like I'm turning around and like trying to yell that out to this audience, right? And the best way to do that is video. So and even if it's just Hey, if you were out there with your iPhone and, and you went like Facebook Live or something with a business owner, like that's like a, that's like, you know, that's like a good place to start. Yeah. So, and it's like adding value right away and it's, um, 
it's getting people to understand that you're really you're a huge community uh, contributor, not just like hey I live here, but I contribute to to where I live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been good to me, so I want to at least try to put you know support yeah, anybody else. So of course. Yeah. Now you have a family, two boys, a husband that you're you're always taking care of them, and working obviously. And a Boston Terrier. Oh, and a Boston Terrier. I can't forget. <laughs> he, they, he made a, uh, or she, yeah, yeah, she, she made a, an appearance in yeah, everything, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, you're busy. I know that. Uh-huh. You're busy. I know that. So what are, if you do read, like maybe you some, do. some okay, great. Some, maybe can you give us like top three books that you have read this year or are currently reading that maybe somebody who's in the industry or just anyone who might gain some knowledge from your, from what you're reading? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, right now I'm reading some parenting books, but, nice. Nice. <laughs> um, but my favorite books are, um, are very impactful, life-changing, I think, uh, books are Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read that when I was 19, and it, the mindset and the thought process ne- never would have occurred to me, sure. honestly, and it, sure. that was a life-changing book in itself. Um, you know, Think and Grow Rich is obviously an amazing book. So anybody that hasn't read that, I highly, highly recommend. I mean, right. you know, mindset is such a powerful thing. So anything on mindset, I listen mm-hmm. to Tony Robbins, you know, any chance I get when I'm driving in my car. Cool. Um, you know, Tom Ferry's my real estate coach. So right. listen to, to anything that he puts out. Got anything it. on mindset and growth is, has been very beneficial to sure. me. You do podcasts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you do like audio books or, or both? Physical books. And uh, I like physical books. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're probably looking at you're probably looking at screens all day, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's good to like turn away, look at some pages for us for a second. So you draw you draw a lot of your inspiration from books, creating mindset, and all that stuff. Um, what what inspires you every day? Well, my kids. I mean, I've got young boys. Um, they're my biggest inspiration. I, I just want to give them the best life and experiences possible. So. Um, you know, what, why are we doing this? It's not, I just want to create the a better life for them. Like what every parent wants, they want a better life than what, you sure. know, and just keep that going. So, you know, I work hard to provide experiences for my kids and memories mm. for my kids and a, a good life that we can all have and share together. So nice. that's for sure my inspiration. Your, your boys. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's so crazy to ha- when you have a kid and you see them every day and you're just like, I'm going to go do this. Before you might go do it, now it's like if I don't do it, you're gonna see that I don't, or I don't follow through. Then you're gonna somehow experience what I didn't do when I should have done it, right? Yeah, so it's a crazy experience. And I hope they can appreciate. You know, they're like, oh, well, you know, I'm like, well, mommy has to go to work, but I'm also I'm hoping that they don't see me away, but that they see me. I'm impacting people's lives, and I try to tell them I'm helping people get a home, or sure. I'm helping a family. Yeah. You know, so I hope that they understand later down the road. Like, I am doing this for I'm helping others sure. it's a, you know it's and that's great I mean yeah. you're helping somebody find a home it's like that creates a warm feeling for them I'm sure it's like hey we have a home yeah like everybody should have that yeah and if they don't like mommy's helping them out that's just great you know super super mom yeah and it's <laughs> rewarding and honestly it's such a rewarding job so I, the inspiration is my kids and then also I just really enjoy what I get to do every day so Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in the uh, next five years or so? Um, like right now, I enjoy it. So, I'm, I mean, I'm happy what we're doing. Um, maybe adding on a few additional team members. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's some marketing ideas and some other things I'd like to execute, you know, with video. And sure. so maybe adding on some, you know, a marketing person and that will al- allow me more time Great. to kind of fulfill some other duties or right. a buyer's agent. Yeah. Um, a few more team members. and Yeah keep plugging away doing what we're doing nice yeah well thank you for being on the show today yeah thank you i appreciate it we love you guys you guys are awesome (laughs) thank you we're here in carlsbad well where we both live which is exciting to do the podcast here as well um thank you for being on the show you're one of our favorite people for sure thank you uh people because you're not just our client right we're friends we're also friends and uh it's cool i to be out you know, riding my bike, walking my dog, and you text me and say, hey, I just saw you or something like Creepy, that. Creepy, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm really I'm really glad that we finally got you on the, the show, and we're excited to share the, you know, a little bit about you to the rest of the world that we 
haven't yet touched so yeah that's awesome thank you guys you're telling a story and, and helping my brand and helping my clients and i can't thank you guys enough so yeah thanks. looking forward to this year with you and and many more projects i know we got one coming up thank you so much good to see you <laughs> you too <laughs>